Hi there. Oh, no, I did it. Oh, that was so crazy. He's not just a magician. He can also read people's minds. But hey, you read our mind. International World Coffee Day. Claire in the house. Claire. Claire. <laughs> I'm so happy you're here because we are cooking with coffee. Now, this morning, when I heard a coffee combination with beef, I was like, what are we doing? <laughs> Tortillas and beef mule. Yeah, a little bit confusing, but honestly, coffee just adds a depth of flavor to a dish. It's nothing crazy, wild, exciting, confusing. It's all flavor. Okay, it's all flavor. Well, I think flavor is exciting. How do we get started? Okay, so what we've done is we've browned our beef over here. We just take it out of the pan, and in the same pan, we add our onions and all our other deliciousness to so it. So if you say you've browned it, have you added any spice to it? Perhaps some salt or pepper? Do you um, do? Yeah, season, season your beef beforehand, right. just so that it's, you know, you're maximizing all the flavor of there. Brown off our onions, and now we're gonna start adding all of our spices. It so, smells so good in so here. The thing with the mole, it's a very typical, traditional Mexican sauce, but it's full of flavor, full of spices. I see that you have got a whole array of spices a here. Whole... They're all different colors, and there's some chili there as well. So we've got some smoked paprika, some regular paprika, some cumin, some coriander, some cinnamon, some oregano, and exactly, some chili flakes. Ah, flex. okay. And I see that the flavors aren't like a curry flavor. I see what you mean by Mexican. They, they belong to the other family. Yeah, there's all okay, sorts so, of so we're just gonna Dump all of those in there. So don't be alarmed or uh, even feel intimidated by all the spices that Claire is using. Our keyword for this morning is beef. Beef to 33728 and you'll get a list uh, of all the things that are going in here as well. It smells amazing. Okay, so beef goes back in. Okay. So we just toast off those spices and herbs a little oh, bit good. just to get them I feel delicious. like I should be doing something. What else can I can add? Can you pass me the beef stock? We're okay, going to add so that into it. So there's this some is, beef stock. This is what's creating our sauce now. So it's going to just fuse all those delicious sauce uh, spices together. And then we're going to add in our tomato puree. Okay, so I see that the tomato puree is a little bit more than the the beef stock yeah. that you put in. Okay. So it, it's also going to give it that beautiful color. Ah, okay. Okay, then we're going to add a little bit of our sugar just to sweeten it up. Okay, so a little bit of sugar. Let me get it out there. Yep. What else is And now is here this? comes the fun part. Oh no, this is coffee. The coffee. <laughs> Pop it in here. Okay, some coffee. And you didn't sweeten it away anything? No, no. So it's just your uh, ground uh, espresso or just any sort of ground coffee. Could that you, you use an instant here. coffee? Yeah, definitely. Because sometimes we taste it, hey? Sometimes we want a little bit of an instant taste instead of all the expensive stuff. You could even add in a, a shot of espresso, just counter out some of your beef stock. So just use right, that right. as a bit of the liquid. So then that's gonna cook down nice and slowly till your beef is tender, your sauce is nice and I was gonna thick. ask you that, about tender beef. I mean, how, do, you, do I want my pan to be medium hot? How do I make it soft? Because your meat is quite... So you can see how much it's reduced here. Right, right. A low heat, low, okay. slow heat. That's kind of the trick to tender be, meat. Okay. I I get it, I get it. So here comes the traditional part of a mole, chocolate. No, you see, <laughs> this is wrong. I'm gonna get out of here so, right now. Okay, so you've, you've literally chopped your chocolates. So not only did we add coffee, we know, coffee's not so typical with your mole, but chocolate definitely is. You add it in just towards the end, get it to melt, and then again, like I said, it's just that depth of flavor. Again, a medium heat so that you don't burn anything Exactly, in there. so now that's pretty much melted in there. And I mean, really, it's just beautiful color, beautiful sure. texture, beautiful flavor. It smells amazing. Beef is our keyword for this morning. Beef to 33728. Get a link to the recipe. You click on it. Of course, our SMS is charged at 1 Rand 50. And uh, no, I, you don't get the beef with it. You just have to buy it. <laughs> what That's kind of it. Now we're going to dish it up. Okay, so how do we dish it up? Are we going to do it in our tortillas? Exactly. We're just going to pull it Okay, so here. while we figure this out, uh, we're definitely going to start dishing. Have a look at how we got to this point. Season beef with salt and pepper. Brown in hot oil, then set aside. To the same pan, add onions and fry. Stir in garlic, cumin, coriander, paprika, oregano, chili flakes, cinnamon and coffee. Return meat to the pot, then add tomatoes, stock and sugar, then simmer until meat is tender. Remove from the heat and stir in the chocolate. Serve beef with corn tortillas, avocado, fresh coriander and sliced almonds. For the full recipe, visit the Espresso Morning Show Facebook page or log on to www.expressoshow.com. SMS the keyword BEEF to 33728 to receive the shopping list on your phone. Click on the link provided to view the recipe on our Mobi site. SMSs cost 1 Rand 50, no free SMSs, T's and C's apply. And our keyword is BEEF, BEEF to 33728 and you get a link to the recipe and you can finish it off with some of my favorite nuts, almonds, yay! And there it is. What do you call this whole dish? A BEEF tortilla? A brave beef. 
Mulay in tortillas. Amazing, amazing. We're cooking with coffee and also some chocolate if you missed out on it. And that keyword again, beef to 3378. Click clear. Thanks so much. Okay, well, uh, there's lots that happened over the weekend. In fact, the one guy that needs a trophy is probably Katlejo Mabue. He's been singing the anthems. He's been doing all kind of things. In fact, Leanne's going to tell us more about a trophy that's coming to the studio. What's happening, girl?